Whenever it comes to React.js and React Native, there always seems to be some confusion. What is the difference? My name is Daniel, and today we will compare React versus React Native. We will find out what they are for, and when you should choose one or another. I will also talk about their differences and similarities. In addition to that, we will explore career opportunities for React and React Native developers. And as usual, I will leave all useful links in the description. So feel free to check them out after watching this video. Alright guys, let's start. React and React Native, what are they for? Ok, so before we even start comparing these hugely useful tools, let me answer a couple of important questions. What were React and React Native made for? React.js is a JavaScript library created and managed by Meta. And as you know, it's incredibly popular in the world of web development. And for a good reason. You see folks, React.js makes crafting user interfaces for web apps incredibly easy. Imagine your web app is a puzzle. React.js breaks it down into tiny reusable pieces called components. You can change and adjust them however you want independently. So, if you would like to change one part, you can do it without causing chaos in the rest of your app. One of the greatest things about it is that React.js uses something called a virtual DOM. When you change something in the code, React.js checks this virtual DOM to see exactly what needs an update. This smart trick makes everything lightning fast, because it only corrects the parts that need changing, not the entire page. So, there are several very important aspects that make React stand out. It's easy to learn and extremely user-friendly. If you know your way around JavaScript, React.js is your best friend. It's super beginner-friendly, making it easy for developers to dive in and start creating awesome web apps. Improved performance. Thanks to its virtual DOM magic, React.js speeds up UI updates. And compared to traditional methods, it's very fast. It gives users a smooth and dynamic experience. Reusable components React.js lets developers break down the UI into reusable pieces. You can build comprehensive structures without any trouble. Plus, guys, it's so easy to maintain and scale, even for the most complex interfaces. Cross-browser compatibility React.js works seamlessly on all major browsers, whether your users are on desktops or smartphones. React.js ensures your app looks and works great everywhere. Strong community The React community does a great job helping developers share knowledge and help each other out. This kind of support plays a huge role in your project's success. Rich ecosystem From libraries to plugins, React.js offers lots of tools and resources. They make development easy and ensure your code is top-notch. Alright, and now let's have a look at React Native. React Native Developed by Meta, React Native takes your JavaScript code and transforms it into the native language of both Android and iOS apps. In simple words, it lets developers create great mobile apps without diving into the complexities of separate coding for different platforms. React Native shares the core components, state management and the virtual DOM with its siblings React.js. This means you get all the great features of React.js designed specifically for building native mobile applications. This means that your apps will look, feel and perform just like those traditional native apps, with a single code base. But guys, React Native isn't just about bridging the platform gap. It gives developers the access to native APIs and platform-specific features. This means you can craft apps that seamlessly blend into the native environment, all with a unified code base. So, people, to sum that up, there are a few things that make React Native special. Cross-platform solution With React Native, you can build apps that work on both Android and iOS devices without issues. Fast performance the code you write in React Native transforms into native. No glitches, just seamless separation. Community power. You stuck on a problem? Don't worry. The powerful React JS and React Native community has your back. Code reloading magic. With React Native, any changes in the app code instantly come to life during development. Platform flexibility. Do you need native functionality? React Native has got you covered. While most features are cross-platform, you can easily dive into platform-specific coding. React vs React Native – Disadvantages Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in the return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. That's all.
So, as you can see, folks, both tools are very useful in their own way. But, as it always happens, they are far from perfect. Both React and React Native have cons many developers might find annoying. React Swift changes Today, React.js evolves rapidly, making it a challenge for developers who find it hard to keep up with constant changes and updates. Documentation issues The fast-paced updates leave little time for comprehensive documentation. This forces developers to rely on self-created guides for new tools and releases. Narrow focus React.js specializes in UI layers. It requires additional technologies for a complete development toolkit. Tech dependencies Depending on technologies like JavaScript, DOM, TypeScript and Redux can limit React.js's flexibility. And this potential problem makes it less suitable for specific tasks. JSX complexity While JSX is robust, it can complicate your code, making it harder to read and maintain. Browser boundaries React.js may struggle on older browsers due to its reliance on modern web technologies. And this guy limits its compatibility and accessibility. Alright, and now let's go to disadvantages of React Native. First of all, folks, it's not so easy to learn compared to React. And this is especially annoying for newcomers in app development. Security issues Being JavaScript-based and open source, React Native might not provide the robust security needed for sensitive apps. For example, finance apps. Slow initialization Even on advanced devices, React Native takes considerable time to initialize, causing delays in app startup. Tricky debugging With React Native, debugging can be challenging due to potential errors in native code, making it harder to detect issues. Limited native access React Native offers restricted access to the native APIs, limiting the support for complex native features. What do React and React Native have in common? Ok, guys, React and React Native are often referred to as siblings, because naturally they have a lot of similarities. And here are some of them. Shared syntax React.js and React Native share the same syntax. This enables developers to use their web development knowledge for building mobile apps. Component-based structure Both React and React Native use component-based architecture. This allows applications to be divided into manageable pieces for easier development. Programming language Both our guys, React and React Native, employ JavaScript as their programming language and JSX for templating. Virtual DOM Both React and React Native utilize virtual DOMs to efficiently render applications. Styling techniques Both use similar styling techniques. However, React Native's approach is a little bit different. Debugging tools Both React Native and React rely on Chrome DevTools for effective debugging during development. JavaScript APIs Yes, they use the same JavaScript APIs for smooth integration. So, as you can see, folks, there is quite a lot that these tools do in a similar way. Career opportunities Alright, all that's great, but there is always this question that many of my subscribers like to ask me. Daniel, are these two technologies in high demand today? Well, my friends, after making fresh research, learning both React and React Native is definitely worthwhile in today's job market. Both web and mobile app developers skilled in these tools are in a great demand. For example, senior React developer in the United States can earn $133,000 per year. At the same time, based on Upwork data, freelance React.js developers earn from $20 to $38 per hour. And if we are talking about React Native developers, they can earn as much as $134,000 per year. And React Native freelancers earn as much as $24 to $45 per hour. So, as you can see, folks, the difference in paycheck is insignificant. But both React Native and React Native programmers are well paid. Alright, my fellow developers, that's all for my React and React Native comparison. Guys, I left all the useful links in the description, so you can improve your skills. Feel free to check them out. And if you found this content enjoyable, don't forget to give it a thumb up. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscription button. Thanks for watching, until next time.